Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Do you own a Tenneco floor cleaner? I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to clean them, and if they're smelling really bad, I'm gonna show you where to clean them, and just how to keep them running at their best performance. So it really doesn't matter what model you have here. I've got all the way from the S2, S3, S3, S5, S7 Pro, and S7 Steam. It, all of these tips and tricks are good for all of them. Now the first trick I'm gonna uh, take uh, tell you about is the tank. So anytime you, do, after you do a self-cleaning cycle, you may walk away and forget, but you definitely wanna clean this out after you do your self-cleaning cycle. I've done my self-cleaning cycle, and sometimes on these, these bigger ones here, it can take a while and you may walk away and forget, but you're definitely gonna to wanna to go back and make sure and clean this out. Okay, so we're gonna clean the tank really well. We're gonna, we're gonna take the filter off. I'll show you how to clean it, but let's take this out, empty this out. Now your tentacle may or may not have come with a brush. These brushes do okay for the for the tube that I'm gonna show you later, but get you a good brush and when get, I'm gonna spray all this down really good. Get this, we can take this apart, this comes off. This is good for this little tube right here. That's kind of a smaller tube. So let's get this all nice and clean. We wanna get this all, now that I've got the filter out, we can get this spray. You gotta get this thing really, really clean. You'll be surprised, come, some of the stink will come up from the, where the float is. Get, and it kind of gathers up here. Let's get it all nice and clean. Miss Fiona's taking a big nap. So cleaning this can be kind of the hardest part. There's kind of a seal here. You really want to get down in here and get all these crevices nice and clean. Next, let's do the filter. Now, you're going to have to change these out once in a while. Sometimes the smell just gets so bad inside these. These filters are designed to get wet, but you do have to make sure they're dry overnight. Normally, your Tinnico will come with an extra one so that you can clean them. And getting down in those crevices can be the hardest part. That's where I find most of the gunk. It doesn't look like they're dirty, but you're seeing all this stuff wash away. And I, I've sprayed a little solution on it, you know, just to kind of get it and get a brush. You can get these as wet as you want, but they have to dry. Now, as you can see with these, typically they give you an extra one. So what you'll do is you'll take the one that's dry then they got like a little spot for you to put the one that's wet. Now some of these down here, these are just foam filters. It's the same thing. You'll want to take it out, get it all nice and clean, but make sure it's dry. Even this one, the S2, it's got like a foam filter. Take it out, get it all nice and dry. Okay, so we've cleaned the dirty water tanks on all of these. Next, we're going to start with this tube right there. We're going to clean the tube, work our way to the roller. Now sometimes it is, you do have to let these dry. And you definitely want to make sure the filter is dry before you reinstall it. Okay, so let's start by taking these off. We're gonna clean this tube. We're gonna take the brushes out. Normally these brushes just lift up. Same with this one, pinch these tabs. This one's got a side thing you're gonna pull out. The brush comes from the side. Over here, this one's a little different. This is the S7 Pro. It's got a release handle on this side. You're gonna lift it up and it's got like a motor. Now on some of these, we don't wanna get this. Like see, there's a big sign. Don't get that wet. That is a motor inside there. These we, will be okay. And again, here's this one. Just usually there's a lever on the side, lift straight up, and then it, there's a gear that that slides onto. Now the machines do a pretty good job of cleaning these rollers, but you will eventually have to replace these rollers. Sometimes I have taken them over to the sink and I've used kind of like some dishwashing soap. I've used some laundry detergent on them. Getting them rinsed out can be pretty hard, but I have managed to get a, few, a little bit more life out of them but eventually they will get so worn down and sometimes so stinky that you just need to replace them with a new one. Now, what I'm showing you is the same on all of these, but you're gonna wanna put it on the counter or you may wanna have somebody hold it up for you. Uh, definitely take your, your clean water tank out because it could leak, but we're gonna clean, there's a little tube. This tube can get pretty stinky and that's what that brush is for. So here's where that tube is. Now, sometimes there can be dirt and debris in there and you gotta get this brush and you gotta clean that out and flush it out. Now you gotta be very specific where you put the water. We don't wanna get water everywhere on this head. Just put the water down here, and what I found is take this over to the sink. Again, just pour, like take a cup of water and just pour the water down there, and you may have to like open this up so that I can get that all the way down so that it comes out this other end right there. You'll be surprised. There can be a lot of dirt and debris in this tube, and this is very worth cleaning. Now the next area is this area right up here. 
This is where the solution comes out, but you'll see there's like a scraper and a scraper here. We're gonna clean all of this. See, I'm wiping this off. There can be some junk there. We wanna get this all nice and clean. Now I have found sometimes stuff makes it to the bottom. Again, we're not gonna soak this. We're not gonna get water down in this area, but you can wipe this off, wipe this scraper off, make sure this is okay. Again, get this all nice and clean. We don't wanna get any water down in this little motor area here. Now some of them, this is the uh, S5 Blue, it's a little different. It's got like a scraper wheel. And again, it's just a little bit different, but you can see it's the same. You're gonna have that tube that goes all the way up here. Again, this one is probably the one you gotta be the most careful with. It's, that tube's kind of hidden. We've got the scraper wheel. We gotta get this all nice and clean, but you cannot get this motor wet. And these wheels, you don't wanna get any water around this area. Just wiping it down and running some water right through here, but making sure it comes out right here. I would probably put a towel around the motor or something. Yeah, you can see these tubes. There's a lot of dirt and debris, a lot of hair gets stuck in them. So they're really good to clean. Okay, so now if you read the manual, it does say that you are supposed to let these air dry. Now, I have let my tank air dry too before, but it does say after you self cleaning and clean it out, you are supposed to take this off and this roller off and let it air dry. Usually there's a place to kind of stick it back here, let it dry. And this way it's ready to go. I don't do that every single time, but I do that sometimes if I've cleaned up a really big mess when I've got it all nice and clean, but most of the time I let it air dry. Oh, also don't forget this thing gets really dirty. Yeah, look how dirty this lid is. Get this all nice and clean. We got a lot of stuff there. Take this over the sink, rinse it all out really good. Um, but you can see there's vents in there, so it should dry relatively good, even when it's on the dock. So some other tips and tricks, make sure you're using the Tinico deodorizing and cleaning solution. And it's always one cap full. So they use the cap to use for your mixing solution. So it's always one cap full, depending on what size the tank, but it should say on the side of it, yeah, one cap. You can put hot tap water in here. Make sure it's not over 140 degrees, but you can, that does help with the cleaning a little bit. Now I have had my tank get a little smelly. No, normally you don't smell that. I've had it, uh, I've had to clean it out before, but it's pretty simple. So there's another tip that I learned really quick is, so say you've cleaned a big area and you're out of solution, your tank's full down here and you dock it and it tells you it's time to clean it. Well, before you hit the self-cleaning cycle, just give this a quick empty. Take this over, you don't have to completely clean it all out, just empty it out so that it will finish the clean cycle and make sure this has got enough water in it. I've done so many clean cycles where like, oh, this was empty. And so it didn't really do the clean cycle and I gotta do it all over again. So before, because normally you're gonna use this. That's gonna fill up, that's gonna be empty. You're gonna dock it and it's gonna say, okay, time for self-cleaning. But go ahead and fill that back up, empty that out. Then you're gonna do the self-cleaning and then you'll have to empty that out one more time. So underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate that, that helps out my YouTube channel. I'm also branding my own coffee. It's called Just A Dead Simple Sip Coffee. It's a dark roast. And I just finished up a, a comparison video. So almost every Tenneco that they make, I got two or three that I don't have, but I show you all the way from the cheapest all the way up to the most expensive, this $800 one, um, which ones to get. And when I'm done with these products, check out my Just A Dad videos group page on Facebook. This is where I do my free giveaways. So right now the free giveaway is the Ember coffee mug. And I just gave away a Ninja Sizzle. I've also got a podcast, it's called Coffee With Dad. Be sure and check out that podcast where I interview people about their jobs and kind of their stories. Again, I really appreciate everybody's support. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.